Hey, what's up guys, DZ here from Explore Gadgets and hope you're doing well. If you're experiencing software related issues with your MacBook, performing a reset can often be an effective solution. Resetting gives you the option to get a fresh version of the OS. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the process on the M1 MacBook Pro with the touch bar, but this process will work with all the Macs regardless of if it's Intel or Apple Silicon based Mac. Basically, Factory resetting the Mac erases all the content on the internal startup disk and then reinstalls fresh Mac OS. Before you start this process, remember to back up all your data and save it to your external storage devices. Also, plug it into the charging adapter if you are low on battery. And trust me, it's super simple and fast as well. The process is a bit different than the previous version of Mac OS. First, turn off your Mac. After your Mac is turned off, simply press and hold the power button until you see this screen. Then you get Macintosh OS and Options. Click the option which will take you to the recovery assistant. Then enter the username and the password. Here you will be able to see the recovery screen. Go to Disk Utility. This is the tool that we are going to be using to format our SSD. Now select Macintosh SD then hit Erase. Then this dialog box will pop up and then click on Erase Volume Trip. Then leave this on as default. Hit Erase Mac and then Erase Mac and Restart. Now your SSD has been erased and is ready to install the Mac. On the top right corner, you'll get a Wi-Fi option. Just click on it and enter the details. Then you need to enter the Apple ID and the password that was previously used on the Mac. And the activation process takes some time. Now activation has been completed. Once the activation has been completed, you'll get this screen. Then click and hit reinstall macOS Ventura. Since your Mac is connected to the Wi-Fi, it downloads the macOS. Now the download time completely depends on your internet speed. This reinstalls a new version of the US. Hit continue. And when you see the software license agreement, hit agree. Then just follow the on-screen instructions. Now choose the volume and hit continue. I'll be back after this process is complete. The installation process is complete. Now go ahead and set up your Mac. It looks fresh and clean like new. Also, the drive is free of storage, as you can see here. That's it for this video guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel.